Look at my new baby, so cute. He pierced his gay ear. If you guys don't know what the gay ear is, it's uh, when you pierce your right ear. I have both ears pierced, so I'm neither straight or gay. I don't know. I don't know how it works. Who makes these rules? I don't know. I sure don't. <laughs> What's up? It's Fern here, your favorite alternative vlogger. Let's be real. Um, the guy with the hair, the cringe hair, that uh, YouTubers for some reason like to react to my hair. I don't know why. That's probably how you know me. Today I want to bring you guys a personal video. I want to talk about some of my history, some of my past, and uh, just open up a little bit and just talk to the camera, talk to you guys. So by the title of this video, why I stopped tattooing at home, let's get into some details about that, about why I did that. I'm sure many of you guys at home, you, you maybe tattoo at home, whether it's sticker pokes or your friends might, might do it, so maybe you can relate to this video, but uh, I'm going to be talking about some tattooing and my experiences, so let's get into it. As some of you may know, some of the popularity of this channel is due to my at-home tattooing videos. Maybe some of you guys found me through one of my at-home tattooing videos, I don't know, but they have some of the most views on my whole entire channel, so it would be kind of stupid not to pursue that, because obviously that's what people like to see. So I'm going to give some backstory on this video to shed some light on the topic. And this goes way back before I even had this YouTube channel at all. Um, we're talking about teenage Fernie, itty bitty little Fernie, okay? Fetus Fern. Fetus Fernie knew that even before he had one professional tattoo, he knew that he wanted to one day be totally covered in tattoos, you know? Inspired by people like Travis Barker and just all those heavily tattooed band dudes, I was like, that's gonna be me one day. Either I was going to be heavily tattooed, or I wanted to be a tattoo artist, or both. So after dreaming about it, what did I do? I went on the internet, and I purchased one of those startup kits, those tattoo startup kits. Um, yep. It came with, you know, all the things you need to start. It came with some machines, some stencil paper, like hundreds of off-brand Chinese ink which I wouldn't recommend using. Actually, I wouldn't even recommend these tattoo kits at all, to be completely honest. But yeah, it came with everything that I needed to get going. So, you know, right away when I got it, I was super excited. I was like, oh my god, my dreams are coming true, woo! -hoo. Um, right away, I just went on YouTube and started watching tutorials, trying to figure out all the equipment, how to use it, how to work it, how to run it, all that stuff. And uh, pretty much within like a day, I had it fired up and going. And I was, you know, tattooing my legs, my feet. <laughs> I would tattoo fruit, pretty much anything I could get my hands on, even some of my friends. Because, let's be honest, teenage Fernie was a little punker. I did some bad stuff back then. <laughs> but yeah, after continuing doing that for quite a while, you know, tattooing myself and my friends, I realized I wasn't really improving much. Like... Yeah, I would improve a little bit, but I realized that this wasn't the way I wanted to continue in my tattoo journey. I, you know, I, I, knew, I knew I needed some professional help because, let's be honest, those tattoos were shit. They were pretty bad. They were janky. They weren't good. My preparation wasn't always up to, st up to industry standards in terms of, like, hygiene, and I know some of you guys we're pointing that out on my videos. You're like, hey, um, clean your machine or wear, put put a wrap around your cord, things like that. And I wasn't really doing that when I was first starting, you know. And people were cheering me out for it. And there's a reason people say these things, you know. So I realized that I needed to change my ways. Yeah, if I wanted to take my passion seriously, I had to I had to sort myself out. So. So yeah, after about like four years of just scratching people up, I pretty much just put the machine down and gave up on my dream, on my passion. I was like, this isn't going anywhere, um, I'm not improving. So I, I put it down and that's when I started focusing on videos and music and all my other hobbies, you know. 
tattooing was like put on the side. I would still get tattooed, but I wasn't really doing it for a while. And then something totally unexpected happened. Like, you know when you like finally stop searching for something and then it happens? Yeah, that's pretty much what happened to me. So I ended up meeting a friend, a really, really nice lady actually. And you know, I told her about my story and whatnot and she decided that she would help apprentice me and teach me the ways of being like a true professional. You know, she's, she's apprenticing me right now and I'm entirely grateful if you're watching this, Steve, you're the bomb. Thank you so much for this opportunity. I'm not taking it lightly. I'm practicing every day. But um, with even what she's taught me so far and me practicing all the time, like I have noticed my skills improve so much like if you look at the demograph of my skill improvement it was going like this for four years and now it's like this so it really helps to learn the proper techniques and the proper ways and soon enough I should be doing my tattoos out of a licensed studio that's right folks you can come into a shop a real shop and get tattooed by me and It'll be a great time, you know, we can listen to music, we hang out and talk, it's gonna be super fun. I can't wait, um, but it's gonna take time, you know, it's gonna take time for me to get to that point. I definitely want to keep updating you guys on my tattoo journey. Um, I want to go every step of the way, you know. Um, this YouTube channel is like my personal blog and tattooing is a part of my life. So I just love to mix the two together. So I'm gonna be talking loads more about tattoos and art and all that stuff that I'm passionate about. So if you're new to the channel, this is your first time seeing this, hit subscribe because we're gonna be doing a lot more about tattooing and all that fun stuff. And for all of you guys who are already here, thanks for sticking around, you guys. This is an exciting journey and I'm happy that you're here with me. It's, it's a lot of fun so far. And to end this off, I'm gonna take a little quote from one of my favorite artists, um, Kat Von D. Practice, devotion, dedication, will, and drive. You can achieve anything. And that's all from me, folks. Peace, love, happiness, stay blessed, not stressed. I'll see you guys very soon.